What's good, YouTube? In this video, we're going to be breaking down part four of our Regs Simplified Offensive Ebook. And this is a play call that I like to use um, that is designed to attack the defense, kind of short horizontal passing concept. And uh, it's just one of my favorite concepts whenever my opponent is starting to uh, double Mabel their defense or they're starting to drop a lot of people back into coverage So I'm gonna set up kind of a 5 25 and 5 Mabel defense here and I'm um, gonna just kind of walk you through the setup for this concept and you can do this out of a couple of Different passing plays in this formation uh, But my favorite play to do this out of is the vertical or um, the PA slot corner or the verticals play uh, which will show both of those. The beauty of this formation is you have it all in your audibles here. So we know that our base play is, of course, PA counter go. Um, but the play that I'm going to walk you through today um, is really good out of either verticals or PA slot corner. That's kind of up to you, uh, whichever one you like. I'm going to give you two different setups in this video, but they're going to be both geared toward the same basic premise that we want to try to have a concept that can attack the middle of the field uh, whenever they're starting to mable their coverage, okay? So if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies uh, here on the YouTube channel. The other thing I wanted to quickly point out is I've got a full trip site in offensive ebook. Uh, I have an expanded version of this in my Patreon. By joining our Patreon membership, you'll be able to get access to all of my Madden 22 offensive and defensive ebooks. We've got over 20 ebooks available. The other cool part about the membership is we we update it every single week um, with a video that is designed to kind of give you different twists, different tweaks that you can do as the game shifts week in and week out. As we learn new things, you're always going to have the most up to date ebooks. You're also going to have the most up to date just kind of pro tips and things like that so if you want to get access to all of that stuff the patreon membership is only ten dollars a month and you'll get access to like i said over 20 offensive and defensive ebooks in addition to that we've got a ton of weekly updates that we do every single week that kind of dive into more of the you know nuts and bolts of a game that you could apply to any scheme uh, as well but anyways let's just jump into this concept so uh basically what we want to look at here is this is a double mabel defense and um i want to kind of show you a concept that i love out of this so what we're going to do is we are going our first step is going to be from pa slot corner so this one is a little bit more of a vertical approach to passing um it's really a mesh concept essentially but we're going to smart route our outside slot we're going to take Devonte Adams and you could do one of two things you could either put him on a curl that's probably my preferred way um, the other thing you could do is put him on a smart routed out route now the out route is a little bit better for pulling the zone outside um, but you could do either one and then we're going to drag the inside slot and we're going to put the running back on an in route now we have this little underneath mesh very good concept our first read is really on the out route. If we can hit this out route, you'll see right here that that out route is actually one of the more underrated routes in the game for two reasons. Like I said, you see it gets open against a five yard curl flat zone. The other thing that it's going to do against that defense is it's going to force your opponent um, to, or it's gonna kind of cause both of the zones to get pulled outside very significantly. So again, PA corner, we're gonna do this right here. And as you can see, um, my first read here, if I can throw that, you'll see right there, it's really good against cover three. It's really good against cover three. It's also really good against cover four. Uh, I'm gonna audible to a cover four defense here real quick. And just kind of run it as a simple, uh, simple cover four shell. Uh, but what you'll see is because of this route to Lazard, you don't have to smart route that route if you wanna leave it kind of a shorter post. But you see that this, you just pass lead it up and outside. Really good read for cover four, cover three. Um, if they are in a cover two defense, let's say that they're in a cover two defense on you, um, and their their curl flats are, you know, are their their um, I'm sorry, their cloud flats are you know set at a deeper depth. You'll see that this is still a little open, just like that right there. So what it forces is it forces a ten yard or less um zone to be over there now i want to give you a quick example of what that will look like so i'm actually going to take baseline off here on this uh, but we're going to put our curl flats now at 10 
and I just want to show you the difference uh, between these two concepts. So uh, if they have their curl flats at 10, again, you have to respect the fact that this route to the um, or this guy right here is oftentimes going to be on a, a you know a cloud, right? So if you get in a situation where you're like this, you should see that that curl flat is so far inside. He has to travel all the way out there. That's a bang bang play, and he could make that play. But as you can see, it's not like super there in terms of his ability to make that play. Now, what if they go to something like a cover four? This is going to be a little bit better. Um, so if they're in a cover four drop style of defense. What you'll see is this out route. Um, you can kind of pass that up into the outside. You see how good it is, but it really is something that I think is going to be a little bit more problematic. So again, if they're just in a simple uh, cover for drop, let me pass commit real quick. And then I go with a smart routed out. I'm not going to have like perfect success because you see, see how he's right there. So that's the big key. So if they, if they play the out route, that means that they're dropping their zones at a 10 yard depth. Um, another quick example would be, let's go to this cover two real quick and vert hook the linebackers, but then you got that purple uh, over there. And what you should see here is from PA slot corner. If I try to throw this, you see he's out there, but look at how, look how open that guy is. Okay, so that's, that's, the, that's the deal. Now, if let's say I was to curl, let's say I was to curl him. Um, which we'll get into that setup in just a second. But let's just say hypothetically, I was to curl him instead of out route him and they have a 10 yard coverage. Um, you'll see here that the running back will eventually kind of pull this guy out, but it's really late in the play. So the one thing I will say is that, you know, if you don't out route him or if you, if you curl him, the five yard curl flat can um, kind of get into the throwing lane. I'm going to shift back to that because obviously I think the five yard curl flat is gonna do a much better job at defending the running back um, than, than the uh, 10 yard curl flat will. So again, let me just jump back in here and I'm gonna go through, let's just go through the cover four first. And uh, we're just gonna run a curl route now. So if I run the curl um, with the running back in route, this is a five yard curl flat. You see it's in the throwing lane, and if they have Acrobat, that could be potentially problematic. Whereas if it's an out route, and this is what I like about the out route, so if it's an out route, what you'll see is that that zone will continue to flow to the outside. So watch, he's not going to stop inside, and you see how much it pulls it. So that's why I personally prefer the out route. Another route that you might consider um, is a comeback route. I don't love this route. Um, for this in particular play concept, but again cover for drop that nickel corner You see see I kind of see see how you can kind of sit on the running back So that's just something that you might want to pay attention to okay um, But anyways, let's jump back into a double Mabel look and kind of walk you through So now the purple zone is coming from the middle of the field as you can see it's coming from the middle of the field so what you want to pay attention to, obviously your out route is there. So you can take that, of course. Um, if you want to take that out route, you certainly can. But look at how open this running back is once he clears that yellow zone. A lot of people, um, you know, a lot of people might run with a little five-man pressure that basically looks like this. Now, to save us, you know, I'm going to go ahead and put this guy in just a zone. But, you know, they're going to have something that looks like that, right? This is a really good play for that kind of concept because you'll see right here how open this running back and how open the drag get because those zones get pulled out so far by the out route on the left and also by the corner route on the right side. So we have a high low on both sides of the field um, between these two um, these two route combos. If they're putting their curl flats on five, my recommendation, I would really strongly recommend that you hit this this out route okay um you want to practice it learn to throw it but this is a really good route if you don't like it then just take that read right there and look at that that's 15 to 20 yards if you break a tackle now let's talk about the user just a little bit here um so the user is going to be in a situation where he sees this concept he's going to have to choose a lot of times he'll just run down and typically he'll take the running back so i'm going to try to illustrate that by dropping him in a hook curl to this left side and he'll typically take the running back what that means is now you're going to turn to your high low on the other side of the field so 
PA corner, we've got a little mesh underneath, and then we have this corner route to the tight end. What you'll see from this corner route is he pulls all these zones out and it leaves that right there coming in behind it at about a 20 yard depth that you're gonna be able to throw. And you could throw this post um, pretty much anywhere in the field. Now the one thing that you have to pay attention to with this, and this is where verticals could be a really good play, I'm gonna show that in just a second. V the reason verticals can be a really good play for this is because he's on a little bit sharper of a corner route. This longer corner route right here can be a little bit problematic because the drag kind of gets over there faster than it, it needs. See how the curl flat can kind of play this? And again, that's where you might want to put him on a five yard in to kind of delay that a little bit. That's not a bad idea. But the thing that I like about verticals, and I'll go ahead and show you this setup uh, for this. Oftentimes you're gonna get that deep half right there on that left side, especially if they know what they're doing, they're gonna put a deep half over there. Otherwise you're gonna throw seam streaks all day against them. But anyways, so let's go to verticals. So with verticals, what we can do with this is basically the same thing. Um, the major difference is we're gonna run the flat to Lazard. We're gonna run the deep in route to Adams. We're still gonna drag the MVS and then we're going to in route Jones. This is a really, I think a little bit better, a little bit more horizontal. And what you'll see here is, see how much more open this is, this little drag is coming across the field. So this is truly one of my favorite concepts, especially when they want to run man or when they run a run, uh, when they want when they want to run double Mabel. Because what's gonna happen is this user is gonna get so sucked down here that it puts them in a really bad position, um, especially the vertical setup they can't really recover. It's really difficult to recover on this, right? So you've got this dig that's coming deep and 10 yards right at them. And that curl flat has a really hard time getting out there. Now, another thing that I wanna quickly point out about the curl flat defender in this defense is we know from experience with our trips that if we have this, um, this flat and this in route, it can cause problems for this. So you'll see right here, See how that curl flat sucks back to the running back? That's one thing that's a little different than the other thing. And so that's where you might wanna have just a little bit more clarity in terms of, um, or for your reads, how you wanna attack, um, how you wanna attack there. But again, PA slot corner is very good as well. What I like about PA slot corner is you could smart route that post. And now that curl flat is gonna have to suck outside, which leaves the running back wide open, which leaves that wide open. And of course that right there. So. This is a great play against double Mabel. Um, it's a great play against really anything. If they run man to man on you real quick, I'm just gonna go with some cover one robber here. Um, let's just say they run man to man. I think that um, the verticals plays are just a little, is slightly better against man to man because of the fact that that tight end corner route can sometimes be problematic. But if you look to the left here, this out route is really good, especially if you have a good stud receiver like Devonte Adams running that. That out route can be very good. Um, I would definitely want to suggest that you practice it, but if they run man, either either drag should be wide open. So you can take these easy drags um, right here against the man coverage. You'll see the running back, once he eventually cuts, will beat it. And then of course you have Lazard, that post that's gonna beat it. So every route pretty much on this play with the exception of like a really good cover corner um, is gonna beat this. Let me go back to PA corner. So again, drag, deep out route. And if you don't have the deep out route, then just put him on a curl. Um, or, I mean, you could smoke screen him if you wanted to, uh, but I like to put him on a curl or a comeback or something. But anyways, the running back right here, really great read for man. And then I wanna show you the tight end lastly, and then we'll, we'll wrap up here. But this is just a really, really simple concept that Again, it attacks the defense horizontally in such a way that it makes it really, really hard for them to just sit in the double Mabel. And here, you see that tight end. If he gets that kind of separation every time, this can be, this becomes a really, really good play. But this is something you can literally call, I mean, against anybody. This is a really, really good play. It's very similar to double post at a gun bunch. Um, and you see here that if you have a good tight end, you can actually aggressive catch that on the sideline if that ever becomes a problem. But if they're putting their curl flats on five, which most people are gonna put them on five, or they're gonna put them on 10, just depending on who you're playing, you you should be able to throw this out route all day. 
and then now that's going to leave that over the middle so love this concept love this play and that's part four of our regs ebook if you want to check out the rest of the videos in the ebook um, there's a playlist at the top that you can check out for the regs portion and then I would really encourage you if you want to get the really advanced version of the trips tied in offense I have everything for you in my patreon membership that's where I put all my ebooks everything for just ten dollars a month you get access to everything all the updates all the ebooks so if you want to check that out there's a link in the description below where you can sign up for just ten bucks a month if you want to check it out again head on down to the description and click the link that I put down there for you